Survival can be summed up in three words. Never give up. That's the heart of it, really. Just keep trying. Bear Grylls. Here are 25 survival myths that could actually hurt you. 25. You need to find food right away. Your body can actually survive for weeks on your body's fat reserves. By that point in time, you're likely to die of numerous other causes including injury, exposure, poisoning, or illness. In fact, people usually don't die of starvation in survival situations. 24. All you need to start a fire is two sticks. You'll actually need a bit more than that, including kindling and a fireboard, and in some cases string to make a fire bow and a top rock. Starting fire this way is incredibly hard, even under the best of conditions. Your best bet is to pack stormproof matches from the get-go. 23. Watching survival shows will prepare you for survival. Those shows are fun to watch, but usually heavily scripted. While you may be able to take away some general tips, don't get lulled into a false sense of security just because you've watched every episode of Man vs. Wild. 22. You should suck the venom out of a snake bite. Clinical field trials done at the University of Arizona have shown that more damage is done to the surrounding tissues if you apply suction devices. Furthermore, ice, tourniquets, and compression wraps all do more harm than good. Your best bet? Wash the wound site, cover it with a bandage, and try to get to the hospital as fast as possible. And remember, a dead snake can still bite you. The bite reflex sticks around for a few hours after death. 21. You can outrun a bear. No, you can't. Not even Usain Bolt can run fast enough. There is no conceivable situation in which you should try to outrun a bear. 20. Well then, you should play dead if you meet a bear. So, if you shouldn't run, you should just play dead, right? Well, it depends on the bear. If it's a grizzly, then your best bet is to stand your ground, even if it charges you, and when it makes contact, drop down, cover your vital organs, and play dead. If it's a black bear, this won't work. You need to make yourself seem big and threatening by opening your jacket, screaming, and stomping. Either way, don't make eye contact, and try to carry bear spray. 19. The best way to stop a shark attack is to punch it in the nose. While this would work, you are underestimating how hard it would be to hit the nose, especially underwater while you're being attacked. More than likely, you'll end up sticking your hand in its mouth. Instead, try going for the gills or the eyes. They're much easier targets. 18. You need to find water in the desert immediately. It's actually better to sit in the shade and try not to sweat so much during the day. If you want to move around, it's better to do it at night when it's cooler. Some people have died of thirst after only four hours of taxing their body to find water, while others have survived two days by conserving what they already have. 17. You should drink your urine to quench your thirst. <laughs> Slow down there, Bear Girls. While you can drink your urine at least once with no significant consequences, it will tax your body and potentially cause it to overheat a bit more. It's a trade-off that you'll have to decide on. A potentially better use of your urine, with no side effects, would be to use it on a bandana to cool yourself off. 16. Well then, you can drink from a cactus. Drink cactus juice. It'll quench ya. Nothing's quenchier. It's the quenchiest. Chances are that you'll just make yourself sick. Similar to urine, your body has to work extra hard to process out all the poisons which can potentially push you closer to heat stroke. There is, however, one cactus you can drink from, the barrel cactus. Well, only one of the five types, the fishhook barrel. So, as you can see, unless you're a cactus expert, your chances of being poisoned are pretty high. 15. You don't need to worry about survival on short trips. <laughs> Any 10-year-old Boy Scout would shout at you for this. Be prepared. Always. If you're going into the wilderness, then bring a small kit with you based on where you're going. 14. A helicopter can rescue me. 
in many cases, it can't. There are numerous places that helicopters just can't fly, especially if you're high in the mountains. 13. Boiling water makes it 100% clean. Boiling water only kills germs and bacteria. If there's dirt or muck in the water, it would need to be filtered as well. Boiling won't get rid of such things. You can create a makeshift filter by running the water through a fabric, such as a shirt, and then boil it afterwards. 12. Eating snow is a good way to rehydrate. Eating snow will require your body to expand valuable energy in order to heat it up. It's better to melt it first and then drink it. 11. Shelter means having a roof over your head. Alright, most people think that the first thing you should do is build some sort of Hollywood-style teepee. As survival experts will tell you, it's the ground you need to worry about, not the sky. It's better to have a bed and no roof than a roof and no bed. Your first order of business when it comes to shelter should be constructing a bed that will prevent you from losing valuable heat into the ground. Then, if you have time, focus on the roof. 10. If you're impaled by an object, pull it out. Most people probably know this one by now, but never, ever pull out an impaled object. It will only cause the wound to bleed faster. Instead, dress the area around the wound and object and seek help immediately. 9. Use a tourniquet if you're bleeding. Of course, tourniquets can save your life, but only use them as a last resort if it becomes very likely that you will lose your limb. Also, once you apply the tourniquet, do not remove it under any circumstance. This can release toxins back into your bloodstream that your body won't be able to handle. It needs to be removed in the hospital. Pro tip, mark the time that you applied the tourniquet. Doctors will need this information when removing it. 8. If there's an earthquake, then you should stand in a doorway. Depending on the age of the building, this may be terrible advice. In the past, the door frame was extremely sturdy. But in modern structures, there are much better places to hide, like under a sturdy table or desk. Keyword sturdy. 7. Eating plants is a safe bet. <laughs> Not really. Unless you have time to perform the universal edibility test, which is actually something really good to learn about, there's a good chance that you'll ingest something poisonous. Besides, even if you do find plants that aren't poisonous, they probably don't have many nutrients anyway. It would be a waste of your time. 6. Moss only grows on the north side of trees. This is false. In the northern hemisphere, it may sometimes grow better on the northern side of the tree, only because that side is less likely to receive direct sunlight. But it can grow anywhere if there's shade or moisture. Don't depend on this to give you accurate directions. The sun would be a better source. 5. Drinking alcohol keeps you warm. This myth is actually quite dangerous. Alcohol only makes you feel warmer, but it in fact decreases your internal body temperature. 4. If it's cold on the valley floor, move to a higher ground. While it's true that inversion layers and rising hot air can make it a few degrees warmer on the slopes of the valley than on the valley floor, it's not always a good idea to move to higher ground. Remember that there is a higher wind chill factor, and it may be harder to start fires. You just have to use your discretion. 3. Always swim parallel to the shore if you are caught in a rip current. While this is true for rip currents that pull directly out to sea, not all rip currents do that. Some are diagonal, and some are longshore. The basic rule is that you should swim perpendicular to the rip in the same direction as the prevailing wind or ocean current. If at any point you feel like you're swimming upstream, then you are not moving in the right direction. 2. You will suddenly find yourself in a survival scenario. Survival situations do not usually happen suddenly. They're typically the result of a series of bad decisions. Many times, it's our pride or stubbornness that gets us there. If you're out fishing on a lake and you see lightning, get off the lake. Don't be macho and most likely you'll be okay. 1. Survival 
is about knowing what to do. No. As any survivalist will tell you, survival is much less glamorous than just having the right skills. Sometimes it is about that, but usually it's simply about prevention. As I just mentioned before, don't be foolish and use common sense. The best way to survive a deadly scenario is to not get yourself into a deadly scenario. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.